In about one and a half weeks from now, Kenya Airways will mark a new milestone in its 36 years of operation with the arrival of its first Dreamliner jet. The plane, which is built to be fuel efficient, will be the first in a fleet of nine Dreamliner jets that will be acquired by the national carrier. The aircraft arrives on the 4th and for two months we will just be um, doing training programs. We need to train our own uh, pilots. There are some that we've already trained out in Seattle. It's much cheaper for us to come and train them out here. But as the airline prepares to acquire the new planes, the airline is bracing itself for an additional tax burden that comes in the wake of the application of the value-added tax at the rate of 16% on aircraft spares. This notwithstanding the huge amount of VAT refunds that the national carrier is demanding from the taxman in order to meet its operational costs. And that has a major impact on our cash flow. In fact, right now, as we are talking, we've got about close to a billion shillings that is stuck within KRA. And if you go into other parts of the world, airlines don't pay the VAT. This as the airline faces the continued challenge of constrained aircraft parking space at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. According to the airline's chief operating officer, the airline is currently having to utilize airports in neighboring countries such as Uganda to park its planes as expansion works at the JKIA continue. The is that it should be ready by quarter two this year. So by July, we should be able to start using uh, Terminal 4. Meanwhile, the airline is set to launch three new routes to Shanghai, Beijing and Tel Aviv this year as it prepares to boost the Nairobi-Paris route with the arrival of the new Boeing 787 Dreamliner. For Citizen Business Centre, I'm Bella Genga.